on the internet? <laughs> um, my name is Brittany and I will be streaming Cyberpunk 2077 for you all today. Um, I am on this Twitch channel as part of a project for my class with Dr. Taylor on uh, Ludic Networks and in that class we study play. <laughs> Hello! Uh, we study play and games and everything surrounding that. Um, in one of our projects or our goals of the class, <laughs> hi Claire, um, is to pick a game and <laughs> Yeah, to pick, a, to pick a game and study it uh, for the entire semester in many different ways. And my game was Cyberpunk 2077. Um, I chose this game for a variety of reasons. Um, it just came out in December of last year, and anyone who is familiar with the games industry knows that this was so hyped up, but when it was released, it definitely did not... <laughs> Hi, Professor. Uh, it definitely didn't live up to expectations. It was full of glitches. It was definitely not ready for full release. Um, so maybe we'll have fun and get to see some cool glitches while we play. Um, if not, hey, then the whole game's working, so no complaints there. <laughs> um, okay, so before we jump in, I do want to give a content warning. Um, this game is rated M for Mature, meaning there will be things like drug use, uh, violence, nudity, uh, things like that. Uh, we're gonna do our best to try and avoid that, but it's kind of inherent in the makeup of the game, so there's only so much I can do. Um, so let's get started, shall we? Um, so for anyone who hasn't played this game, it is set in a dystopian future where, um, where humans have cybernetically enhanced themselves in lots of different ways. Corporations have taken over the world. <laughs> the graphics are pretty good, right? Um, and corporations have sort of taken over the world. Um, and we're fighting back against some of these things. The specific story is that you are a mercenary named V, um, and you stole something called a relic, um, and they've managed to uh, copy a human consciousness onto a chip, and due to a lot of different things that happened, you put the chip in your head, and now Keanu Reeves lives in your head. Um, <laughs> I mean, his character's name is Johnny Silverhand, but um, if you see Keanu Reeves just like pop up randomly, it's because he is in your head, literally. Uh, and no one else can see him. Uh, and your goal is to cure yourself because the chip is killing you in the process of letting you see Keanu Reeves. Um, and I've already finished the main story. This is a brief look at Night City, which is the graphics. Uh, I think we're in my apartment right now? Yeah. So we're in my apartment. Um, this is a brief look at Night City, um, which is the place where this all takes place. <laughs> it doesn't seem like a great trade-off, right? I, we didn't know that going in. We were mercenaries and we thought it would get us big money to get that chip and sell it. Um, but then things went wrong. Um, and that's the beginning of how this all kicks off. But I'm gonna be playing in a post-game file. Um, I completed the game once, but uh, it set me back right before the point of no return when I turned it on again. So technically I still have access to all the open world and all that. Um, hopefully there won't be spoilers for anything that happens later in the game. Um, so, but I'll go ahead and put a, a warning up just in case. Um, okay, so this is my apartment. Um, let me see if I can't show you my V. In the future, um, mirrors turn on, which is hilarious to me. What the hell? What? What, no, Keanu, already? I was trying to show them me. Okay, let me try that again. Here we are. Yeah, it is Keanu. I didn't expect him to show up so soon. So this is my character V. Um, <laughs> Keanu is there, yay. We got a cameo so quickly. Thanks, Keanu. Um, his name is Johnny Silverhand in the game, but I'm just gonna keep calling him Keanu. Um, so this is my V. I made her much cooler than I am in real life. Um, let's see if the expressions actually work in this mirror. I don't think I've ever tried it. Yes, teal hair. Yeah, I know. I was like, I, I live out all of my um, hair dye fantasies in this game because I would never be brave enough to dye my hair. In real life, <laughs> right? Keanu's, he lives in my head rent free. That's just how it be. Um, 
Okay, so before we head out, I wanted to actually get some input from you guys. Um, we can do a few, a few different things. Um, I kind of was just planning to go to these little check marks where it says undiscovered. Who knows what you might find, right? Um, so that might be fun to discover together on stream. Or we could um, do, there is a, if you really want to see me be bad at this game and show off the, the really bad driving mechanics, there is um, a series of quests that are like races through the city. Uh, I could do that as well. So, um, or we could just drive around Night City and see what's up. Um, so if you guys want to have any input, I would love to see in chat. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get out of my apartment building while you guys maybe think on that. I know, there is a lot to explore in this game. Heck yeah, I'm seeing some explorer in the chat, so we'll just have fun, go to some of these uh, quest markers marked, who knows what you'll find. So this is my apartment building. We have a gun store called Second Amendment, immediately, which is hilarious to me. Um, okay, so, oh, I passed the elevator. <laughs> I didn't put on my mask. They have actually, there's no COVID in this world, which is another reason why I love playing this game. Man, I don't Hello, elevator. And 54 news. All right, what's going on with this? The recently announced a new visa program. Persons intending to relocate there must first find a sponsor from among WCS. Oh, it's nighttime. I like how I'm, I'm just like, oh, what's going on? And I haven't pressed the button. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. It is about um, the Ludic Networks class. Um, I said a little in the beginning, but I'll say more now. Um, so the Ludic Networks class is studies around games and play and pretty much everything that, um, that surrounds that. Uh, to from communities surrounding games to the way our bodies interact with games to the way uh, representation works in games and things like that um and for our final portfolio we are going or we're trying to study one game thoroughly through the lens of many different uh, theories or uh concepts or aspects of gaming uh so oh here's night city by the way i'll just leave it here while we talk um, so yeah, uh, that, we've studied a lot of different things, we've studied how, I think Cal, Calvin, who's in the chat, did a stream, he took a supplement, uh, a gaming, it's supposed to enhance your gaming, so that's part of, like, we study how our bodies interact with the gaming software, slash how we modify our bodies to play the gaming software, uh, we talk about communities that are built around this, um, and the way that the game audio is a little loud, okay, um, let me see if I can't turn it down. Um, I don't know if that actually affects it. Is that better? Let me know uh, in chat if that sounds a little better, if the game audio isn't so loud. Okay, good, good. Um, I'm glad we got that figured out. Um, so yeah, um, the game that I'm studying is Cyberpunk 2077 for a variety of reasons. Um, but yeah, so if you have any specific questions about the Ludic Network class, feel free to ask in chat and I'll just try and answer them as we play. Um, let's see. Inventory. Okay, so here's my V, by the way. Here's your, I picked a cute outfit for you guys. Um, it's actually not one of my better outfits, as in like the stats for the armor and protection against bullets isn't great with this outfit, but I think I look pretty good. So um, maybe I'll put a Frankenstein outfit on later that actually protects me. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and I got my guns, I got Overwatch, this is a sniper rifle, and this is a shotgun, and then this is my smart pistol named Skippy that I actually got off the mission, so um, it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, anyone who's actually played this game knows there's, um, a way to customize your character in regards to statistical ability. <laughs> um, so there's tech abilities. Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> Dr. Taylor says he would love to hear more details about the class. He is in a work call. Business in the front, party in the back, aka is watching my stream concurrently. So um, I'll mention a little bit more. <laughs> so um, this is the way that my character is built. Um, you can get maximum of 20 points in each ability by when you rank up. Um, I've invested a lot into technical ability and intelligence, so I can um, do on the move. Um, if you want to do like on the move hacking, because I can hack people with my brain in this game, uh, you invest more into those. I also did body so I don't immediately die um, <laughs> in combat. Um, and I will say, even though this, this is going to look like I might be committing a lot of murder, um, I do have a mod on my, my uh, optic system that is target analysis, which it means that all my weapons are non-lethal. So in a gameplay perspective, like mechanically, I'm actually not killing anyone. So I don't want to brag or anything. But, um, okay, and so, oh, and this screen is all the cyberware that I have implanted in my body. Um, and so there's different parts of the body that show here, and all of these implants do different things for my game mechanics slash enhance my abilities in some way. Um, which is really interesting when you think about it in the context of my Ludic uh, Networks class, um, because we talk about how we as players modify our bodies to play a game, um, <laughs> like Batman is non-lethal, right? Yeah, kind of. Um, Oh, my cat just meowed. I don't know if you guys can hear that. If we're lucky, we'll get a stream kitty. Um, but yeah, so technically my damage is not lethal. So um, let that comfort you as we go through and commit war crimes. Um, okay, so let's see where the first uh, question mark is. Oh, here's one that's relatively close by. Let's go check it out, shall we? It will seem like I'm doing a lot of murder. You've done a lot of murder in this game? I have too, I just don't want to admit it on stream. Um, and let me just call my motorcycle over. I'm bad at driving actual cars in this game. Oh no, did it call my car instead? No, okay, we got the motorcycle. That's yep, there's our first glitch, everybody. <laughs> Causing a multi-car pileup. Okay, well, sorry, bye. Um, it's driving is bad, so <laughs> so driving and, driving mechanics in this game are rough. That's why I drive motorcycles only. They're slightly more easy to maneuver, and this is the only time you get to see third person of your character. So I can appreciate my teal hair um, and cool outfit while I'm riding my motorcycle. Yep, there I go into the barrier. <laughs> beep beep. I'm going way above the speed limit. I'm so sorry. Okay, looks like we've made it. Okay, get off. Oh, let's see what's As up. As you know, Kabuki's got a new fixer from the USSR. Been running some major biz in NC for a few weeks now. Not sure what exactly, but we're gonna find out. You need to clip this data shard. It's got everything. More on our comrade at the gig in the attachment. Okay, so it looks like I'm just supposed to go into this hotel and steal um, some guy's information. Um, fixers in this game are the people who set up the jobs, like the, the crimes. They're like, hey, there's an opportunity for a crime here. I'm gonna let you know about it, but you also have to give me some money because I set you up with it. Um, it's kinda like they're setting you up on a blind date, but with a crime. Um, so for this one, it seems like I just have to get in here and optionally, I can choose to not raise the alarm. So we can definitely try. <laughs> I hope this video communication finds you well. It didn't find me well. It found me in the middle of Night City. Also, I pick up everything that I have the chance to. Um, I don't know why I do it, I just do. It feels like I'm missing out on if I don't pick up every pack of playing cards. Yeah, North Carolina. No, it's in Night City is what they call their their thing. But I but every time I play and they're like, yeah, NC is a hard place to live. I'm like, uh, I find it okay. I think it's all right. Um, all right. So let's see what we're dealing with here. Where 
are we? Where's the entrance to this place? Oh, probably the front door, huh? Can I buy some food? Hey. I love you with you. Oh, thank you. But can I buy some food? Oh, I, I knocked it over. I should go. I should go. Oh, depictions of women in the game. That is something I kind of have to ignore when I'm playing. Um, I chose the female avatar not only because I am a female, but also I like the idea of there being a, a, a female protagonist. Um, the depictions of women in this game. There are some character women characters who are awesome. Uh, if you've played the game, <laughs> yeah, gotta take snack breaks, but if you played the game, you know there's a character named Pan Am Palmer, and there's a character named Judy Alvarez, um, and Evelyn Parker. They're all really awesome. Uh, bad things happen to them, and um, that's kind of just to further the story, and I don't really appreciate that, but um, I think those characters are really great. Um, there is a lot of, like, objectification of women in this game. We haven't seen much of it yet, but I'm sure we'll we'll see it pretty soon. Um, but yeah, if you ask me, I'm not... No, it's kind of something I have to just kind of... <laughs> I have to look past it, right? Um, but um, I don't think... I think there's a lot to this game that is valuable, so I don't want to discount it just on that. Um, now let's see if I can't find the entrance. Oh, there's people here now. Okay, uh, there's people here now. There's people here now. Let me stealth it. You guys want to see me hack someone's brain? Okay, so I'm gonna do a breach protocol, which I'm gonna do ice pick so I can not use as much energy when I'm hacking them. And then, oh, I can do mass vulnerability too, so. <laughs> me hacking the brain. I'm in. Um, and they don't even know. So, let's see, how shall I take these two down? Hmm. So here's my, my brain. I can short circuit them, I can reboot their optics, I can give them brain disease through their, hack, through their cyberware, or I can just burn them out. Um, you know what? Instant kill. Um, and, okay, I'm gonna do the same thing to you, or I can't, but I'll do short circuit. Oh, they hacked me back. But I think it's fine. I'll just let this happen. I don't think there's anything I can actually do to change it. Okay. Um... Is there a camera anywhere? Like, I'm concerned about there being a camera that will see me. But I don't see anything. Okay, cool. Um, I'll take your lighter. Thanks. Ooh, fancy gun. Sure. A tattoo needle? What are you doing just carrying around a tattoo needle? Yeah, for sure, uh, Brooke Bailey Peters. That's great. Raiders of the Lost Arcade. I'll have to check that out as well. Awesome, yes. I'm confused as to how I'm supposed to enter this apartment. I am confusion. Maybe there's a different way. Hello, excuse me. Um, okay, so how would you approach this game in the context of ludic networks? Are there any critical frameworks you might use to analyze this game? Um, there's a lot. Um, I've been, <laughs> I've been super interested in, um, in the way that they do body mods in this game, uh, in comparison to how we do body mods in real life. Um, another thing I've been interested in is representation, because their character creation system is really great. Um, it's very inclusive um, in the way they phrase things, in the way they present options for you to create your avatar. 
Um, what, what else? I'm blanking now, but there's a lot, there's a, there's a wealth of things to analyze in this game. Oh. I also want to analyze the, uh, the disastrous release of this game and the way that um, developers were sort of overworked and forced to publish a product that wasn't finished and they're getting all the heat because of um, the business side of their company wanting to get Christmas sales is what I assume because it came out in December after it was delayed a few times. Um, and this game was actually originally announced in 2012 um, and everybody's after nearly a decade, everyone was so excited for its release, and then um, the way that it was just so, um, it was so buggy and lots of stuff had been cut that was originally supposed to be in there. Um, yeah, thank you for more information on Ludic Networks. I think that um, anybody watching this stream should definitely go check it out. Um, if you haven't taken a class with Dr. Taylor, definitely would recommend it. I'm having a great time and learning a lot, so. Um, do you guys want to try and sneak in? <laughs> I don't think it's going to work, but I'll, I'll definitely give it a shot. There's right. a camera. Turn it off. Talk a little more about the most interesting finding from your research on this game. Um, yeah, uh, I've, you know, I've, this is the second piece of my final portfolio is streaming the game and my experience streaming it. Um, but the first, uh, piece of my portfolio I did was studying the paratexts and metagames of this, of this, um, this, uh, community. So I went online and I was searching, hello everyone, I was searching um, the different ways that gamers sort of modify, explain, walk through, uh, and help each other become better at this game. Um, and there's a wealth of different resources. There's the Reddit, there's a multitude of videos on YouTube, there's mods on Nexus mods that are really interesting. Um, and uh, on the Reddit, I actually found like a Google spreadsheet of items in the game that don't work the way they're supposed to um, because of developer error. And so like, people are like, don't get this because um, it's pointless and you'll waste your upgrade points and things like that. And um, I often, I watch a lot of walkthroughs on games. So um, it was interesting to see it in the context of cyberpunk and the fact that there is, um... hello, sir. Oh, can I talk to you? Gotta go. This seems interesting. Apologies, ma'am. Oh, interesting. Um, did I distract him enough? Oh my god, I can't believe that worked! Um, but I've actually learned a lot about the, the community surrounding this game and how people- I'm just gonna hide here for a second. <laughs> yeah, the red outlines do help a lot, and you can mark them- that's- that's because I marked them by pressing down on the right stick over them when I- when I scan them, so I can be like, um, ooh, spooky, those are people that I need to watch out for. Yeah, Ludic Networks. It's a great class. It's really interesting. Um, but yeah, the paratext and metagames is what I've really been focusing on so far. Um, and now I am doing my assignment on streaming. So let's see if we can't... Can I access shard required? Okay. Okay, I have enough tech ability to get in the back room. So let's see if I can't find anything. Hello? Ooh. New pants. Ooh, I gotta make some cash. Hold on. <laughs> One sec. It's not a stupid question. It's a graduate course. Um, I forgot to mention, I am a, um, a master's student in English rhetoric and composition. Um, taking this class? Definitely not a stupid question. Um, I was just, that's a question I asked myself when I saw it on the course listings. I was like, there's no way I'm qualified to take this class for fun. Um, and then I was, and I've had a great time with it. Um, let's see. Oh, I hit the wrong one. Okay, well, I only got a little bit of money there. Um, yeah, I think it's really cool, too. Um, is there anybody else back here? Sick. There's no one back here. 
I gotta make more money. You know how it'd be. Um, okay. And this is like, a, this game has frustrated me so much, like this particular mini game, because I'm always so bad at uh, getting all three. Exit interface. I got some money. Sweet. All right. Nice. And they actually call money in this game eddies. Um, it's euro dollars, which is the currency of the future, apparently. Oh, I got the ex the uh, elevator access shard. So sweet. Let's get going. Hello. Please let me do the thing. Go to the penthouse. All right. Sweet. Future. Future. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I know. It's like, um, this is, and I think this is so, it's a dystopian future um, where they're exploring like body, like we still have body modifications now, but they're like, what if we hacked the human's brain and did crazy stuff with the human body, right? Sorry, coffee break. All right, let's see. Let's see how we're going. All right. I'm so stealthy. <laughs> Thank you for the compliments on my Squidward impression. I just try to give the people what they want. Okay. Ooh, do I get to climb up the trellis? With my cyber legs. Hello? Hello? I feel like I'm suspicious. I feel like there should be some guards or something. Out of here! I was right, I was right, I was right, I was right. Um, I am playing on PlayStation 4. Um, which is notoriously one of the consoles that everybody was like, the bugs are particularly bad on, on PS4. And I won't lie, I have been kicked out of the game a couple times uh, over my time playing it. I need to stand up. Obtain the shard. What is, what's seeing me? Is there a camera? Oh, yeah. Turn off. Okay. If it's run on Chrome, that means we can stress test the RAM of the human psyche, right? <laughs> yeah, I actually, if you look um, with my cyber uh, hacking the brain at the top, it says uh, cyber deck RAM. And if I run out of that, I can't, I can't hack anybody's brain, so. Should I turn on the friendly mode? Oh, it doesn't have that. Okay, so. Is there only one person I need to worry about? Nope. Let's see. Hello? Hello? Okay, hide, hide, hide. I'm trying really hard to stealth. Let's see how it goes. This is a nice place. This is a nice place you got here, boy. Okay. Oh, let me get the, the lore. Penthouse access token. Oh, I'm so good. I'm so good at, 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 at being stealthy. No, I'm not. 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 I'm gonna take a breather. Uh, let me have a snack. Let me steal your money. <laughs> no ram, no brain juice. Yeah, ram made my brain go brr, so I need it. Uh, I'm so stealthy. Okay, I need his data shard, so. <laughs> yeah, that's, you know, that's kind of my, my motto in this game. Have a snack and then steal Whatever you can, whatever isn't nailed to the ground. Okay, so there's a guy right there. Oh, let me mark you. Oh my gosh. I'm so stealthy. I'm not, I can't believe I said that. Okay, okay, okay. Who almost saw me? Is there another camera? Why 
Why is it in the middle of the floor? Oh, it's somewhere in this area. Oh, gosh. Alright, well, it's somewhere in this area. <laughs> uh, every time there's an option to not, uh, to be stealthy, I always take it because I, I want to feel that. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. And I just distracted the person to go look over there. Okay. Hey, well, at least we know where it is now. Okay. Distract enemy. I'm gonna make you go over here for some reason. Please. <gasps> you didn't see me. You didn't see anything. Okay. No, don't come over here. Don't come over here. Okay. No. No, nobody sees me. I am the knight. Okay, what else can I hack to distract everybody? I don't want to open a door. Distract enemies. Huh? Ah! God. Why is it so hard to stay unde undetected? Okay. Can I distract enemies over here? I'll answer this question in chat for in just a moment. I apologize. I'm trying to not get caught. Oh gosh. You don't see anything. Okay, I uh, well, I'm not stealthy anymore. Sorry guys. Oh, she's cool. What how do you even move like that? I'll hack your brain. Hack the brain. Got it. Um, I'll take your stuff, thanks. Alright. Thank you for your stuff. Did this guy not even see? Oh! Well, this guy did. Hack your brain, hack your brain. Hack your brain, hack your brain. You know what? Shotgun time. Coming through. I'm coming through. Excuse me. Hack your brain. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh. Did I get what I needed? Okay, leave the hotel. Yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Expertly done. We we did it perfectly, you guys. Okay, let's see. I am not stealthy. Things are messy. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hoarding, stealthing. Time to start shooting. She's got skill. Yeah, she did. She was scary. She was cool. She had a uh, blade arms, which I also have. Um, <laughs> guys, I have blade arms too. I'm cool too. Uh, oh, I just skipped it. But um, perfect run. Everything went flawlessly. See, I have blade arms too, and mine are on fire. Um, this is a very good argument against brain augmentations, right? Um, every time I hack someone, I'm like, ooh, I just burned their literal gray matter in their brain. Pull out the non-lethal guns. Mm -hmm. Such perfection. <laughs> use a katana. I haven't used a katana before. Maybe I should... Should I use a katana? You're alive and in the elevator. I went, great. You're right. You know, you gotta take the little victories. Um, maybe I should equip a katana. And you added snack. Mm hmm Here, I have a katana, I just never used it. I also have this gold-plated baseball bat <laughs> that does so much damage. Um, my katana is actually... The katana is melee. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I've never used it before. Hmm. Yeah, I, I like to stay far away from the action. Oh no, everybody in this hotel is gonna be after me. I'm sorry, excuse me. Contagion, bye. Mission success, I did it, we're good. Oh my God, I'm so good at my job. Shard is secure. A question nice earlier about the online Send community that's come together. Let's talk about that again. Why don't we wait for you there? Uh, I'm on my way. I'm on route. Um, yeah, I can talk about the community yeah. a little more. It's when true. There, um, no questions. No questions. Makes them real cranky. All right. Try my best. Try my best. 
All right, so, okay, so I'll just walk there. Okay, so online community, yeah, this game was really highly uh, anticipated for like nearly a decade, so everybody was so excited. And now that it's out, there's, there's kind of two sides. There's this game stinks and I'm never gonna play it and can't believe they released it. And then there's the other side that's like, well, I still really think there's something to be valued in this game. See, look how pretty, it, look how beautiful this is. Oh my God. The ads go all the way up to the sky. But um, there's the other side of the community that's like, hey, we're gonna work with what the developers gave us. They obviously did their best under the time crunch they had. Oh, sweet. Open for, okay, I don't have any platforms. Um, so yeah, so there's that side and there, that's the side that's mostly doing the mods and walkthroughs and things like that. And there's a lot of cool stuff to discover in this game that um, if you look past the errors and a lot of the technical issues, the story is actually really good. I I remember I was playing this game nonstop when I first got it. Um, let's see. In succeeding despite the game's bugs. Yeah, the way that people have found like ways to work around the bugs is incredible. There's a whole meme page on the Reddit of like incredible glitches that are hilarious. Um, <laughs> so that's really that's fun to look. It was fun to look at that with my paratext and metagames uh, project. Um, how would I teach this game to students? Um, I don't, that's a good question. That's really good. Well, obviously you have to put it in context where this is supposed to be a dystopian future. So this is not like, whoa, this is what we should be aiming for, right? Like the objectification of women, not great. Uh, mod, like modding the entire body. In this game, it's really bad. Um, bad in the sense that it can be hacked and you can hack other people's brains um, and things like that. Uh, the pollution is really bad. Corporations have taken over instead of governments. Um, so there's a lot in this game that needs to be put into context before you would teach it to a class. And let's see. She's on her, one of your friends loves this game and she plays Red Dead 2. I like Red Dead 2 as well. I've never finished the campaign, but um, yeah, honestly, if the story is good, I don't mind glitches. And glitches are also something that we study in Dr. Taylor's class. Um, gotta see the hilarious glitches. Yeah, there's some good ones. Like uh, some people get teleported like in the sky randomly and then fall to their deaths. Um, some people are just randomly T-posing when they're riding their motorcycles. It's pretty funny. All right, let's go see what this client has to say. Hey, I got your I got your thing. Where? Hello? Hello? Are you the guy I'm supposed to be talking to? Hello? I'm so confused. Okay, here we go. Hand over the shard. It's he said no questions. Launch week was so wild. So many broken I'm things. Man. Oh, yeah. You need four. Deliver the shard. I think I did that. Um, launch week was crazy, and they keep releasing. I have it on the PS4. Yeah, it was so bad that they pulled it from the PlayStation online store. Um, when it was first, when it was like first released, and everyone kept asking, "Oh, we finished the gig. Good job, everyone." Um, but in the in the release, like they were like, we're taking it from down from the PlayStation Store since it's like not the product that everyone was promised. So I feel like I did download it from the PlayStation Store in the first few days it was out. So I feel like I have like a relic from the past now. V, here's the thing: you could have done it quietly. Not have the I tried to do it quietly, Regina. But we're on the same page. Whatever. Contract oh. closed. Regina's mad at me because I wasn't stealthy enough. But um, at least I got paid. Um, but yeah, launch week was crazy, but I have a digital copy that, <laughs> thank you. Um, I have a digital copy that feels like, um, feels like a relic. <laughs> Regina's disappointed, but we're proud. Thanks guys. Um, okay, let's see what else we can do. Um, look at all these markers on this map. Is anyone else intimidated by this? Uh, what are some fun things we can Where's my journal? These are my missions. But we're gonna explore, we're gonna find some. <laughs> yeah, we. she didn't tell me 
but there was gonna be someone with, with blade arms there. She was like, oh, I just need you to, do, to steal this one data chip. It'll be so easy. Regina, I'm gonna need you to be more upfront with me next time. Let's see. Where is another mystery that we can solve? Here's one. Oh, there's a couple of, like right next to each other. Here, let's go here. All right. <laughs> Regina has morals in the grim dark future. How dare she? Um, let's see if there's a fast travel point near me. All right, we're gonna fast travel. Because I would drive there, but you guys don't want to see that. You don't. Let's see. Let's go up here. I actually got the achievement for discovering all the fast travel points in the city um, earlier when I was playing this game on my own, which is so exciting. Select destination. Yeah, um, a question in the chat. Uh, did all the students in the class examine different games or was it focused on cyberpunk? No, we're all doing different games. Um, I just chose to do cyberpunk because uh, personally, I really like it. Um, there's someone, <laughs> there's someone in my class who's doing uh, spaces of like cozy spaces in class, focusing on games like Animal Crossing and um, like lo-fi music. Um, what else? What other awesome projects are people doing? We haven't talked much about it. I know that Calvin streamed Mario Kart, Mario Party with his wife. Um, so everybody's focusing on different games, but we're just finding um, similarities between them through through theoretical frameworks and things like that. Actually, we're to think about moral ethic codes as grounds for player frustrations. Yeah, like what are my motivations? Are there weather patterns? There are weather patterns. Sometimes it's rainy, sometimes it's sunny. I like it when it rains because it puts a really cool filter over this, the, um, the city. I love that y'all are streaming. Yeah, I, I saw this opportunity for an assignment and I was instantly like, ooh, pick me, pick me. I want to play. Um, <laughs> so here we are. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm hoping you guys are having fun. I'm sorry I'm talking a lot, not a lot of, I, I messed up the stealth game. I messed it up. I still hope you guys are having fun watching. Um, we're gonna still, we're still going for a while, so. I hope you guys will stick around. Um, okay, so this is a question mark. Psycho fan. All right, Padre, what do you got to do? wishes to free another man of his early possessions. More specifically, need you to swipe Kevin Rodai's guitar. The job is simple to reward high. More intelligent touch. Other way. Um, you need the explanations to understand what's going on. Um, okay, yeah, this is a pretty complex game for someone who's never played it before. Um, Carrier Dines Guitar. Okay, so he's actually a big character in this game. Yeah, moral and ethical codes are really interesting. Um, limited by the, like, Paragon and, uh, Renegade type games, uh, like Mass Effect, where you get to play either evil, evil, or good. Um, I always choose the polite options because I'm like, I can't be mean even, even in, um, <laughs> even in, even in fake, in, uh, pretend. Okay, so this mission seems like we had to steal back a guitar from a super fan of a rock star. Um, so let's do, let's see if Dragon Age did that for me, right? I can't be mean. Like, Dragon Age has, like, the dialogue options are usually, like, Noble, funny, or mean, I would either go between noble or, or funny because I just couldn't, I felt so bad. All right, go to the apartment on the top floor. This is a nice place. All right, cool. We're doing a lot of missions that are like uh, centered in like nice apartments, which is fun, but there's actually a, like a lot of different, I don't wanna call it biomes of the city, but aspects of the city, like there's a desert, which I think Calvin mentioned where he was having the most fun, <laughs> where uh, Dr. Hawk Girl said riding her motorcycle, or riding their motorcycle at 3 a.m. was the most fun they've had through the desert. Um, yeah, it's really fun, I liked it. It's hard being a video game character. I can be mean to care people in cyberpunk. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. I try and pick, you know, there's the, a lot of the dialogue options are, are based off of your skills, 
and um, they're more. Um... Oh, hi, Dr. McMullen. What a pleasure to see you again. I remember I was in your class a couple semesters ago. How are you doing? I hope you're having a good time with the stream. It is, I like the funny dialogue in, in <laughs> Dragon Age 2. It makes the serious things seem not so bad. Okay. Okay, well, I can't break into this apartment. Maybe there's another way? How do I feel about the character customization and whether we play a role in the game or become the character when we play? Yes, that's a great question. Um, in games with like this much character customization, I usually play the first uh, playthrough and I make the character look as much like me as possible <laughs> um, because I'm the main character. No, um, because I want to play it how I, and like if I was in that situation and I choose the, the things that I would pick. Um, and then in my second playthrough, I usually make a persona character like, um, like V, like, um, like her. This actually isn't my second playthrough, this is my first playthrough, but I feel like um, I still made a lot of the choices that I would make. Um, but yeah, like in Mass Effect and Dragon Age, I made my character look as much like me as possible and then chose all the, the uh, options that I would choose. And then my second playthroughs, I made really awesome characters who were cool and interesting looking, and I made them choose whatever I actually wanted to do, slash um, what would lead to the coolest narrative choices. Um, I don't know if that's just a me thing. Uh, I spend a lot of time playing games, so. Um, second and third playthroughs are not rare. <laughs> um, how do I, does it want me to jump over the edge? Oh, I don't wanna do that. Shouldn't I don't be wanna here. do that. Okay, well, okay. Okay, there's a balcony to land on. We're good. Oh, this is a hostile area. snack. Oh, the wontons. Okay. <laughs> Everything is an RPG, even if it's not. Yeah, I, I'm so invested in the story of games that I often find myself doing it that way, too. Alright, so coast is clear so far. Take another snack. Oh my god, does that say fan fiction? Fan fiction, an omelet of passion. Hey y'all, just got a little story I hope you like. Loaded after watching the final Samurai concert and just could not resist sharing anymore. Oh my God. You guys. <laughs> Someone wrote, okay, so this is hilarious in context because you know how I said Keanu Reeves is living in my head, right? So he's part of a game, uh, um, a band called Samurai in the world that actually was popular like 50 years ago. This member of his band is still alive. That's who we're stealing the guitar back for. Um, and then I just found fan fiction between Johnny and Carrie, which is hilarious that there's fan fiction in this game. Um, there's so much lore in this game. Yeah, I actually I haven't had the time to read it all. I only read it if the if the title looks interesting. I'm gonna go back and read it. Like, and, oh, that's a human being. Do you care that I'm here? Okay, he doesn't care that I'm here. Awesome. Um, oh, well, well. Oh, Samurai. His poor acoustics. That's Keanu? Hi, Keanu. Grub was the worst. Of course, the chicks made up for that. Okay, Johnny. We don't, we don't need to talk about that right now. Oh, and now he's gone. Okay, so he just came to be vulgar. At the Thanks. Thanks, Keanu. Um... Find his guitar. Gotta make money. You know how it is. Cyberpunk was originally a tabletop game. I see tabletop game discussion in in the chat. Um, I actually play a tabletop version of the game well, of with course. my friends in real life. So. Well, well. I have oh. to appreciate the man's Hi, taste. Both 
music and liquor. But what I don't get, I mean, why the fixation on Carrie? Are you jealous, Johnny, that they're not a big super fan of you, but they're a fan of your other bandmate? Okay, let's see what messages they have on their... Oh, well, I'll hack in first and then see what they've got on their computer. Um, let's see. Okay, at least got one. 89. Alright, I got two out of three, so... Not bad. Snack. Let's see what messages this person has on their computer. Auction. A samurai auction. Okay. Single. Uh, they have a band. Okay, nothing too interesting. I was hoping to see more fanfiction. Oh! Am I not supposed to be here? Uh, alright. You guys were fine with me being here a minute ago, and now you're shooting at me. But it's fine. I'll just hack your brain. No, I don't need my mantis blades right now. I need I need to get this gun. Can I hack you? On the now. I wish I could keep up with the chat. I'm gonna look at the chat in a second. Just let me get out of this life or death situation real quick. Where's the other person? Oh, there you are. taken care of. <laughs> pew pew. Um. Oh, everybody's talking about the characters they make. That's so great. Yeah, I, I love making characters. I love, a lot of my characters have aspects of who I am in them too. Like, um, like sometimes they'll just be like big anxious or. Huh, I'll never forget this. Line was longer than from here to Plymouth Rock. After party lasted two nights straight. And ended in the drunk tank. <sighs> it's always so weird because Keanu only exists in right? Keanu, Keanu uh siding. He only exists in my character's head, so it's funny to see him like in a scene and then he'll disappear. Alright, let's see. Okay, I can't jack into that one. I'm not smart enough. Okay. Johnny's pants. Oh, I earned a trophy. What is? It's so loud. No, oh, interesting. Fuck, Carrie's an old geezer now. When was this still taken? Not long ago. Look, the data and the guitar we came for. I love how the alarm is blaring in the background that I killed everybody. Oh, why did I look in the mirror again? Stop looking. Alright, can you stop screaming, please? Okay, it's so dark I can hardly see. More samurai merch. How do I get out of this bathroom? I somehow got stuck here. Okay. Here we are. Where is Carrie's guitar? Look here, the safe room, numeric oh. key. Shit, Shit. V, it's the date I'm not still with the guitar. Think I'll be seeing the big black gong. Well, since he was Carrie's guitar, then yeah, damn sure. Okay, how do I get in there, though? How do I get in there? Hello? <laughs> I'm not convinced Keanu Reeves is actually real. Okay, there has to be like an access card somewhere in here, so let me just look around, see what I can find. Let me log onto his computer, maybe... Ooh, I love how they just have money sitting on their desk. Okay, well, let's see if I can't... Oh, enter the code! Okay. <laughs> Spends time luxurating in the towels. Hmm. 
Yeah, but he, he, I'm the only one who could see him, but he's real to me. As in, like, he can punch me in the face and I fall over, somehow. Um, okay, well, is there anywhere where I can find the code? Let's see. Can't have bad luck all. Save you some time. It's none of these. How do you mean? Because say what you will about Kara, but he knew the thoughts. And these are all hot trash. Okay. There has to be some sort of passcode. Temporary Alliance. Yeah, I actually played it, so Johnny and I are actually pretty good friends. Um, I'm always, like, I'm very nice and understanding because he didn't ask to be put in my brain, right? Um, even though he was kind of a jerk in the beginning of the game, uh, he's grown on me a lot. How long are those codes? Could it be like the date of the last concert? Oh, <gasps> you're so smart. I should go look at that, that, um, that photo. I bet that's, you're so smart. Uh, Renorian, the nicest cyber criminal. Yeah, I actually, <laughs> like I said, I feel like secondhand shame and badness if I'm mean in these types of games. So let me scan it and see if it has like a date. Year taken, 2065. All right, let's try that. Uh, how do I go back? 20, 65. Access denied. <sighs> hmm. Well, Carrie, you might just not be getting your site, your, your, uh, maybe there's, Oh, enter the code 2065. I did that. Okay, well, let me try again. 2065. Okay. Well, maybe it's actually maybe the code's on the door. Am I dumb? Yeah. Yeah, I'm dumb. The security system? I don't care. Should we look it up for you? No, that's like, that's quitter talk. I figured it out eventually, right? Right? Hey, we did it! You guys, we did it. We found it. Renorian, thank you for the idea of the concert date. I, I totally missed that. We got, we got the guitar, we got the goods. Let's go. <laughs> we did it! Woo! All right. Where's the elevator? Here we go. Perfect escape. Security in the lobby. Go through the basement. My netrunner will get access in the elevator. Okay, so I can go to the basement. Key card required. Padre. Okay, now I can go to the basement. Oh, thanks for Norian. You were really great. You actually helped me a lot in this mission. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm glad you were able to stay as long as you were. Um, yeah, let's see. God damn it! Thanks for joining us. Yeah, if um, if anybody can't stay, um, we still have technically about an hour. I probably won't run that long, um, but that's how long we have technically. Um, so I'll be around for a bit, just chilling. Um, hello? Can you open the door, please? Now, what kind of... Alright, we're going to the lobby. Alright, I like how it lets us out into the dangerous lobby, but not the safe basement. Let's try that. Hello? Okay, we're going through the lobby. Guns out. It's shotgun time. Goodbye! This is how I avoid a lot of problems in my life. 
<laughs> it's just my running away. Um, oh, they're still coming. Okay, bye. See ya. Let me see if I can't call my motorcycle. Come on, motorcycle. Nice. All right, let's go deposit the guitar. Oh, hi. I saw all these people and I got excited and I was like, are you after me too? <laughs> That's how I handle all my problems, with shotguns. Yeah, th the mission was like, hey, go to the basement. I'll have my guy unlock the door for you. And then it never did. So I just decided to go to the lobby and face my, face the music. All right, we gotta go drop this guitar off and then we have time for probably one more um, mission. Do voice options factor into character customization? Absolutely. Um, if my character doesn't sound, at least, hmm, they kind of have to fit. Uh, thanks, Josh. Yeah, thanks for coming for even just a little, like, for half, more than half the stream. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, thanks so much. <laughs> thanks, Professor. Yeah, uh, I probably won't be on for too much longer. Say, say hello to the kiddos. Um, okay, don't kill me. Bye, everybody, if you have to log off. Um, I'll still be here for a bit. Thank you for joining. Are you guys gonna hurt me if I go through here? Are you gonna hurt me? Yeah. I'm not trying to hurt y'all. I'm just trying to get to the, to the drop-off point. I'm warning you. I'm, I know you are, sir. Excuse me. Here for the long haul, Keanu for life. <laughs> right? We love Keanu in this house. Deposit job item. Hi, Padre. Like a true gun on you, the guitar is in the right hands. Secure now. Closing this contract in the transfer of your compensation. Sweet! We did it! All right. So we've probably got time for one more mission. So let's see. Well, looks like there's one that's right here. Or do you guys want to go somewhere else in the game? Um, there's like desert area out here. Um, more, I think it's more warehousey up here. Um, we're kind of in city center right now. Um, this might be more industrial down here. <laughs> Pan Am! I've already finished Pan Am's storyline. Tragically. Maybe we can go see her anyway. Um, hmm. Let's see. You know what? Why don't we go outside of Night City? Just wanted to, to declare fandom, right? <sighs> love Pan Am. Tragically, you can't romance Pan Am if you are not um, a male presenting character. Um, so I wanted to romance her, but it wasn't. <laughs> Road trip. Yes. So I'll fast travel us a little closer. Um, what is this? So, oh, it's a, okay, cool. So I'll fast travel us a little bit closer and then we can drive through um, the city, or the desert for a bit. I'll fast travel us here. Hey, I'm brain acting you. <laughs> Excellent. Vroom, vroom. Yeah, and like I said, not a great driver in this game, but, um, you know what? I might wait for a bit until it's daytime so I can actually see.
This is every woman V I know playing the game. <laughs> right, Pan Am? We love her. Just let us romance her. But no, it's okay. Characters have their own preferences, so. Um, what car shall we drive? I say that like I'm not about to call my scorpion. Hi, old faithful. Oh, I I hit myself with my own motorcycle. This is, this is the future that, that we're headed towards, fam. Um, okay, so this is right outside of Night City. This is, that's the city over there in the background. <laughs> um, and now we're in the outskirts of Night City, so let's go. Let's go see what we discover out in the desert. Ouch, right? This is like what's gonna happen with Tesla cars. I'm so excited for self-driving cars because in real life I also don't like to drive very much. Oh, hi Regina. Hey V, a truck hauling cyberware crashed in the Badlands. It's top grade chrome, but the NCPD's not in much of a hurry. Tells me they suspect the cyber cycle's the cause and it's got a spoof. Check it out, but no killing you can help them. Um, okay, so cyber psychos in this game are when you have too much cyberware, <laughs> who doesn't run themselves over with their own motorcycle, right? It's so relatable. Um, but in this game, cyber psychos are um, people who have installed... Ooh, sick tricks. Uh, people who have installed too much cyberware and haven't gotten the... the are starting to feel less human. Um, and so they do kind of crazy stuff. Um, and there's one of the big quests in the game is to um, find all the loot, like the cyber psychos on the loose in the city and uh, detain them but not kill them so they can go to therapy, um, which apparently helps with cyber psychosis. So, um, but you can kill them if you want, but I, I play pacifist, so I, um, I have my non-lethal non weapon mod, to, um, so I'm able to use the big guns on them, but they aren't technically dead. Um, Driving in this game is always a struggle. <laughs> Creepy windmills, yes. I know, I always get um, Fallout vibes when I come out here. The kindest cyber criminal. Oh, thank you. Eee! Oh, I missed the turn. I missed the turn, but we're fine. This is why I don't drive cars. Those windmills are a vibe. They are. I think they're kind of aesthetically cool. It's, it's, I think it's so cool that there's different uh, areas of the game that are so aesthetically different. Like, this is all kind of like wasteland um, and it's a wind farm sort of area, and then inside the city is so compact and neon and pretty, and sometimes dirty, like like real cities are. Okay, that was a barrier. We're fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> um, okay, let's see what we discover out here. Entering a new area. I'm really surprised I haven't wiped out yet. Why is this a hostile area? Hey, rackets are hunting someone. Okay. Check it out. Okay, well I'm already getting shot with drones. Did I just die? <laughs> What has been your favorite part of the map aesthetically? Oh, there's a place called Kabuki, which is um, based off of like Tokyo in Japan. Um, it's really, really cool. I like it a lot. RIP. Yeah, I rolled up and immediately got killed. So I don't know what <laughs> we were gonna discover out there. It looked like a cyber psycho, but um, <sighs> it's fine. Thanks Dr. McMullen, or uh, not Dr. McMullen. Thank you um, for, for dropping by. I appreciate you coming by. Hey, hey Rathens are hunting someone in the Badlands. The word psycho's been mentioned. Check it out. Okay, if so... If it's a cyber psycho, don't kill him. At least try not to. I have right. people who can get him into experimental therapy. And therapy doesn't work on the dead. Sending you the details. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to get spotted just yet. Please. Um, yeah, like that's the game that the terminology, the, the terminology that the game uses with cyber psychos. Um, yeah. Oh, background streams. I'm glad that I can help you with your workflow. Um, 
let's see, approach the vehicle. All right. Oh, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Oh, I'm a stealthy god. I'm so stealthy. Okay, I'm not. It's coming right at me. And I didn't even kill it. <laughs> Let me try again. Okay, got it. Can I, can I loot? Nope. Um, okay. There's more. Okay. Might be a thing. When will games be moving towards sensitivity? Yeah, I mean, like, right now, this, this whole quest, like I was talking about with Cyber Psychos, everybody, a lot of the police force is like, just kill them on sight, they're dangerous people. But, um, Regina, aka my fixer, wants me to not kill them so they can go to therapy. Um, so, you know, that's good. And I'm choosing to try not to kill them because I feel like that's wrong. Um, and I can't wait to finish this side quest and see if there's actually, like, a benefit to them going, like, me getting all of them to go to there. I died again. I died again. I died again. Maybe we should go to a different mission, you guys. <laughs> because I keep getting completely nuked for no reason. You can do it. All right, I'll give it one more try. These missions are usually super dangerous. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I feel like there's so much pressure for video games to be edgy and whatever the opposite of sensitive is. Yeah, actually we were talking a lot about this, how, um, um, a lot, let me see how dangerous this mission is. It should show up in my inventory now. Um, new come back, heck yeah. But, um, yeah, we were talking about this in class the other day about how games are often a male dominated space. Um, okay, so the danger is moderate here. Um, Great plan. Yeah, uh, the danger is moderate for this. Yeah, well, we were just talking about how games are a, a, a cyber kind cyber of traditionally an escape out. from the world for men in a changing therapy, world where, um, work on the day. where things are becoming more equal and uh, people are recognizing their. Okay, this destroyed the move me immediately. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Cool. I got nuked again. We're going, we're going to go do a different mission, you guys. Um, but yeah, uh, I like, I love playing video games I have since I was a kid. Um, it's kind of like when you, hmm, there's probably movies where you watch and the actor in them, like, has anyone known about the Army Hammer stuff going on? Or like, was anyone watching House of Cards when Kevin Spacey was starring in it? It's like something, there's a part of it that you kind of have to ignore if you want to enjoy it. Um, some sort of societal aspect to it where it's kind of problematic. All right, we're immediately leaving because I don't want to get shot down again. Hey, the word I don't know if that makes a lot of sense, but um, if it is a cyber cycle, don't kill yeah, there's um, games, there's a lot of games that um, are edgy for no reason. Um, except to try and appeal to a supposed um, a supposed target audience. <laughs> Vocal commentary about violence in video games and media in general. How to be safe. Yeah, that looks like a good record. I'm going to check that out. So impressed how you can navigate these thoughtful conversations and gameplay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'm navigating that well. Um, I'm certainly giving it a try. Here, let's go steal something instead. I feel like that's less dangerous. <laughs> I have people who can get thank you, thank you. I'm so glad that you guys are um, having fun. I hope I'm balancing everything okay. And um, still keeping up a conversation with you all while doing something interesting on screen. <laughs> Regina, I'm sorry, I made immediate- Oh! Did I just kill myself again? By crashing? Oh no! <laughs> you guys! Uh, Brittany, you're so good at balancing conversation and gameplay. Immediately crashes into a huge boulder. Thank you for the compliment, nonetheless. Rest in pieces. <laughs> right. 
You see, this is why driving in the city is better, because I'm not going to crash into a random boulder. <sighs> All right. Great recommendations. Good reads. <laughs> Press F in chat, boys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What made me interested in taking this course? Um, that's a good question. I have been a huge... <laughs> Thank you for the F. I've been a huge fan of video games my whole life. I've been playing them since I was a kid. My first video game that I remember playing that wasn't like an educational video game um, is like Animal Crossing for the GameCube, um, along with Harvest Moon for the GameCube and Chibi Robo for the GameCube, which are all pretty cutesy life simulator type of games. Um, and then I got older, um, <laughs> thanks for the Fs. Oh no, I think I might be glitched into a death sequence. Um, okay, well, I'm just gonna load a different save. This is where the infamous uh, glitches come into play, you guys. Um, I think I was glitched into keep dying forever in my shame. Um, okay, so what made me interested in taking the course? I've been obsessed with video games since I, since I was a child. Um, I had a lot of friends growing up that were boys who played video games, like Call of Duty and such. Um, and I remember they were they were the ones who got me into more um, action-centered games and less lifestyle-centered. But I enjoy both. Um, my favorite game recently has been Cyberpunk. I really enjoy it. Um, and I'm really enjoying a game called Stardew Valley. I don't know if anybody in chat has played or heard of Stardew Valley. I know, hey, Regina. Yeah, I, I know there's a cyber psycho. Like um, Check it out. I'm immediately leaving. But yeah, um, I wonder... The first game I can remember playing was Pokemon Red. Yes! Um, Pokemon Red, that was early. When did that come out? You must have been really, fairly young when you, when you did that. Let's go steal some things. It is a cyber psycho, don't kill him. At least try not to. I have people who can get him into experimental therapy. And Just thinking about games from a day, theoretical perspective, then... change your enjoyment level while playing. Is it hard to take off the academic hat? Um, I think it would have been if I just started playing games while I took this class. Um, but for a really long time, games have been a, like an escapism uh, for me. Uh, since I was a kid, before I even knew that I was liked or was good at school. Um, so, yeah. So, um, I feel like because I have the background of being in school or um, playing games before I was ever an academic, um, I have the ability to kind of separate those two components in my life. I do, I won't lie, I've been playing games lately and um, I'll be like, oh, this would make a great paper for Dr. Taylor's class. And then I'm like, oh, but let's just, let's just have fun. Um, <laughs> I think it's actually added, added a new kind of interesting facet to games that I didn't consider before that's actually made me enjoy them more. Um, it's kind of like when you realize you can read books for class that are actually fun for the first time. I don't know if anybody else has had this experience. I'm a huge, I'm obviously an English uh, master's student, but when I found out that I could study books and get like a good grade on it and have fun while I was doing it, I was so overwhelmed and blown away. Um, so it's kind of like that. Like I'm, the fact that I'm doing this for an assignment right now is incredible to me. Um, I'm so happy that I had the opportunity to do this for you guys. Um, and I want to know, does anybody else have uh, trouble separating their passions from their, from their work? I know a lot of us are academics here, um, or maybe we have a job that we got into because we were super into it. Um, I would love to, to hear if anybody else has um, thoughts on that. Okay, I think I'm walking into another hostile situation. Hey. Did you hear about Militech's new mobile radar? Former English major here, yes! Well, it's bad English for majors smuggling, unite. bad for the avocados, and definitely bad for me. I want to know what makes it tick, but I need to get my hands on it first. Snatch me that radar, and I will make sure you're well compensated. Details attached. Danger, danger. Thievery. Alright, cool. I just need to steal some stuff. Easily. Easy. Easy money. 
I picked my research area because I could do some buffering. I have a hard time not turning my hobbies into research. Yeah, exactly. Like, this was a hobby before I ever took um, Dr. Taylor's class, this, uh, this game was. But now I'm studying it extensively through lots of different theoretical frames. And I'm having a good time, but you're right, it does um, kind of make the work-life balance line a little bit more blurred. Danger, danger. Gosh, there's so many people here. So many opportunities for me to die. Here's a sniper. Short circuit you first. I kind of refuse to separate my passions from my work. Yeah. I mean, like, if it's what keeps you motivated, why not, right? Um, um, Oh gosh, that was a bad move on my part, wasn't it? Why, yes, I am using a sniper rifle in close combat. What of it? There are so many people here. Collection in Final Fantasy. Ooh, that sounds interesting. It's how certain generations are frequently looking to monetize hobbies. Yeah, especially like, like I have a friend who does art on TikTok, and she just got joined with the Creators Fund, I believe. And um, she's getting like a substantial, like from her hobby of art and drawing, she's getting like a great. She wasn't even planning on making it her career, but she's actually getting a lot of attention for it. Um, and is able to. Make some money off of what she loves to do. There are so many gamers in this place. Exactly. Like, I jumped at the opportunity to take this class because it's technically a trauma lecture. Okay, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die so bad. Take your inhaler. Take your inhaler of health. Oh, we're in a bad spot, guys. We're in a bad spot right now. We are in a terrible spot. Time to run, right? Page one. Don't worry, I'm not running away entirely. I'm gonna try and get this mission done. We'll see how it goes. I do I'm hacking their their brains left and right. Taking health. My RAM is actually doing pretty good. Please! No, let's give it a try, you guys. I, I believe in us. We can do this. Okay, tactical retreat? Maybe so. But, um, let's see how this goes. Okay, why are you coming at me right now? I don't like this guy so close to me. Flee, don't flee. <laughs> Conflict with opinions. It's okay. Well, if I die, this. this more relaxing. But let's give it a try since we're already here. Um, has anybody seen Iron Man 2 where in that scene where he saves Pepper and then he says, I think I did okay. And then in the background there's an explosion happening. That's me right now. I like how I'm looting in the middle of the set. Oh, did I get him in one shot? Nice. I'll take all of your stuff. Thank you very much. Give me all your stuff. Okay, I think there's only a couple people left. Love this movie. Nice shot. Thank you very much. Oh, that's a turret. Uh, turn off, please. No, I don't want to breach data. Stop. There's too many options in hacking things. I want to turn it off so it doesn't obliterate me. Nice shot. Um, what else is there? Okay, there's a sniper up there. Oh wait, a surveillance camera. Turn off. Um, let me get out my sniper. Ah, 
Mann. We made it out, you guys. I can't believe I made it through that without dying. There were a lot of people there. Oh, please don't hit anything. Beep beep. Coming through. It's zoom time. Sorry, sorry, I'm gonna hit this car. Oh, I hit it. Yep. Mm -hmm. I use the fast travel points a lot in this game because I really don't enjoy the driving. Job. Beautiful, Beautiful, really. My people, My people are already, already tinkering, tinkering with the radar. radar. The tech is in for a little surprise. A job, a job well, well done. done. Your, Your payment, payment is, is coming, coming in hot. hot. Nice. Job well done, everybody. Woohoo! Um, okay, so let's fast travel, and then I think that we have time to do one more mission. There's one that I had in mind that looks pretty relaxing. It just says to visit a Zen, ma a Zen master, and maybe we can finish up the stream with something a little more chill than, like, gunfights to send us off on our, on our merry way on this lovely Friday afternoon. Let's see what we can do. Okay, I'm right over here. Oh, don't hit me, please. Okay. I keep forgetting it's Friday. Woohoo, Friday! It's also my boyfriend's birthday today. Um, he'll be coming over later. Uh, he might be watching, I think he's watching the stream right now. Um, but I'm gonna have a fun weekend. I hope you all are as well. Happy birthday, yes. We're gonna uh, go talk to the uh, Zen master because I feel like that will be relaxing, right? And then we'll and then we'll wrap up the stream. I hope you guys have all enjoyed watching, even if you haven't played Cyberpunk before. Um, I think it's just kind of a cool game to just look at visually as well. All right, here we are. This is a really cool part of, um, of the game too. I really like the, I love when you go 
As a cyberpunk noob, I've had a great time. Yay. I haven't played with it and probably won't. Definitely enjoy watching you go through it. Yeah, I, that's understandable. It's, it's, <laughs> there's a lot of problems with the game, but I really enjoy it. I love sci science fiction. I love um, anything like that. So this has been really enjoyable for me. Also, I love when I go like street level in these games and you see like cool environments such as this. Can I go shopping? Can I buy something? <laughs> this is so cool. All right, so let's go talk to, oh, I think the Zen Master might be down below. I think we fast traveled up. Limited time for gaming. Yeah, for sure. I know. <laughs> I got excited because I was like, oh, I can play my game for, for class now. Um, so that, <laughs> that's, it's like partly workload, partly just fun. Okay, well, I was gonna jump off the side, but I think we'll die of, do of fall damage, so I'm just gonna take the elevator. Yeah, I've been playing, um, I feel like I don't have time to get, to dive into, into, into any more, like, AAA games, which are, like, huge, like this. I've been playing a lot of, um, games like My Time in Portia and Stardew Valley, which are more, like, chill lifestyle games that you take at your own pace so I can play for 30 minutes or an hour and it's not high stakes you're not going to get deep into a story mission or anything like that um so yeah I guess it's like I'm just so I love games and they're part of my way I relax so um I like to play at least a little bit um if not every day then every other day or something like that all right let's see my time in Portia <laughs> loved that drove my wife crazy with it though yeah, I love my time in Portia. It's it's so fun. Um, I I get obsessed with it. I get it's kind of like I I keep convincing myself. I'm like, oh, if I just create these materials, I'll be done, and I'll take a break tomorrow, and then a new mission will come in, and I'm like, well, now I have to keep playing. Um, okay, let's see what the Zen Master has for us. Did you enjoy our first meditation? Felt good as new. Contemplation must be regular in order to yield results. One drop of rain shall not quench your thirst. Would you like to try again? How much, friend? That is for you to decide. Should be enough. Good. Sweet glasses. Yeah. I will watch over you during the meditation. All right, guys. We're gonna meditate for a little bit. Let's, let's take a deep breath. Oh, careful, flashing lights. Apologies, I should have said that earlier. Uh, for anyone who's sight sensitive. Yeah, we love the glasses. Style is everything in this game. All right, let's meditate. Nice. I like these like random missions that are interspersed between the killing and the espionage and um, and things like that. This is kind of relaxing. Like you find the Zen Master every once in a while, and he'll be like, "Do you want to just like vibe for a little while? <laughs> you want to look at some plants and think about life and talk about metaphors and water." It's kind of a nice breather in this in this. And both in real life and in the game of Cyberpunk, I imagine my mercenary has a very stressful life, so the relaxing is probably good for her. Yeah, it is pretty, right? I know this isn't the most exciting gameplay, but I think it's important that, I think it's fun that this game is actually uh, addressing um, mindfulness in a way. 
I mean, it's not really. I mean, these these missions are completely like these side these side conversations, and this is like completely missable. But um, I think it's interesting that we get the chance to just sit down and be chill inside the game. Heck of a to-do list, right? <laughs> well, it's not things we have to do, but I think that mindfulness is an important part of your daily routine. Ah, uh, yes, gotta do the daily tasks, yep. <sighs> I hope you all were able to just relax. I know we had some stressful times, I died a lot, we shot a lot of people in the head, but non-lethal, don't worry. Um, <laughs> we crashed into a rock, and now we, we just got to sit and watch a waterfall for a little bit. Do we feel refreshed? Gone. Just like the last time. Oh, he's gone. Ugh. So refreshed. All right. So we're getting close to the end of our streaming time. I think that's a good way to transi tra transition back to the real world out of cyberpunk land. Um, here, let me pause it. I didn't mean to do that, but um, yeah, I think I think that's a good place to stop it. <laughs> Stairway to Heaven stuck in my yeah. The the funny thing about this game is a lot of the missions are titled after popular songs because a big part of the game is that one of the the Keanu Reeves that's in your head with a rock star. Um, so there's lots of music references. Um, all right, so I think we're gonna wrap up here. Um, Thank you all so much for joining me for the stream. Uh, if you're able to stay for the whole time, that's amazing. If you only tuned, tuned in later, that's great. And I'm sending good vibes to the people who were here earlier, but, but had to leave. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. I had a really great time chatting with you all. Uh, sorry if I missed anything in the chat. I was trying to, <laughs> yeah, no worries. Um, yeah, if you guys have any more questions, link, link is in the chat for the Ask Us virtual. Uh, thank you, Calvin. Thank you, everybody. Oh, thank you so much. I, I really enjoyed chatting with you all and streaming. Um, if you have any questions, obviously the mods are in chat. Um, this was awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, I was so nervous. I hope you guys had a great time. Hope you were entertained. Um, and I would recommend playing. I like Cyberpunk. Um, it's got a lot of mature themes and a lot of issues technically, but I think that the story is really good. Um, there are obviously some problematic, it's a dystopian future, so it's not a perfect world. And there are a lot of things that you need to kind of put into context while you play, but I, I really like it. Um, and if you have the chance to take a class with Dr. McMullen or with Dr. Taylor, I would super recommend doing so. It's totally worth it and I've learned a lot. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and, and wrap it up here. I hope that everybody has an awesome Friday and I will see you somewhere in the real world. Bye everyone. <laughs>